Cantilever slab reinforcement detailing. Type of cantilever slabs. Behavior of cantilever. Reinforcement arrangement of cantilever slabs. Special notes on designing and detailing of cantilever slabs. All those and much more will be discussed today. Ampersat from Structural Guide. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on new videos. Type of cantilevers. Generally, a cantilever slab is a kind of slab that is projected from the respect to beam or structure. One edge is supporters, other edge is free. As you can see in this figure, I have shown three types of cantilevers. One is there is no level drop and slab is continuous. Other one, there is a certain amount of level drop and slab is continuous. But the level drop is not that large. But the third one, we have a considerable level drop there and slab is continuous. In addition, there are other types like this slab won't be there. And this may be opening, the slab will be cantilevered into other direction. Those are the main types of cantilever slabs that are available in the construction. Behavior of cantilever slab. Before doing the detailing or analyzing, we have to be aware of the behavior of the cantilever slab. Without knowing this, you may do the lot of mistakes. So therefore, we have to be aware. Now, if you take the these yellow lines, those are the beams. We have indicated the yellow lines as the beams. So these blue lines are the yield lines, logging yield lines. Now, depending on the beam spacing and beam supporting arrangement, we define the cantilever slab. Now, when designer can take actions against cantilever behavior or when we can do the detailing avoiding cantilever behavior that has a certain effect on the reinforcement arrangement for example now take this slab now in this slab if these beams are very stiff and space in between these two beams are not fairly large you can span the cantilever slab in this direction so you can provide the main reinforcement in this direction and also you can provide the reinforcement in this direction also but you can provide the main reinforcement in this direction and you can span the slab in this way but this is not possible always because when the span between these two beams are exceeding then we have to be careful so on the on your left you can see here when the beam spans are a bit higher this hogging moment even here this hogging moment will be developed but this hogging moment will be given the area that covered by this uh, cantilever action is very high and also when these two beams are gap between these two beams are high we can't span the reinforcement in this direction the deflection will be higher at here therefore you have to consider the cantilever behavior and you have to do the reinforcement in this direction considering the cantilever behavior those things you have to be keep in mind in addition the continuation of the reinforcement this length this length also very important to us because this hogging moment will continue up to certain level for example this hogging moment say this is a hogging moment it will be zero at here zero at here but will be higher and this will be continued and become zero somewhere there then it's go to the other way but until then until this point you should have the hogging rate therefore you have to be careful when you're doing the detailing of the cantilever slab you should have the knowledge on the bending moment diagram when you're doing the reinforcement detailing so this is a practical example of cantilever slab and different type of reinforcement arrangement in cantilever slabs so you can see here as we discussed previously there is no continuation in the slab in these cases you can't continue the reinforcement as you can see here so since you are you cannot continue the reinforcement here due to the opening you have to provide you bars like this sometimes depending on thickness of slab you may have to bend these bars also this also kind of a cantilever slab but i have shown here the reinforcement be bars in this direction so therefore you have to provide similar bar in this direction u bar may be provided in this similar type of bar you may provide here and distribution bars you have to provide like this in addition now when you come to this slab there there is a cantilever slab is there so slab is continued so you have to provide the reinforcement like this so this portion we want to be careful when, when we do in the reinforcement detailing you have to be very careful 
because generally this length is generally 1.5 times anterior length so this as a rule of thumb you have to consider and depending on the bending moment diagram and etc you may adjust this value but as a rule of thumb you have to keep in mind when you do the cantilever sub reinforcement this bar shall continue at least 1.5 times the cantilever length these are the some of other example that uh, we have to do the reinforcement detail here also you can see the reinforcement arrangement different reinforcement arrangement in this one the slab is continuous no level drop so you can continue the top reinforcement and also you have to keep in mind you must always provide the bottom reinforcement it's advisable to buy the bottom reinforcement always this is a fairly small level drop is there and the cantilever again a cantilever slab but the reinforcement arrangement you can't continue the reinforcement like this because there is a level drop so in these cases you may crank the reinforcement like this the crank should be within the beams you, you can't crank somewhere here it's not it is not correct therefore you have to crank the reinforcement within the beam and you can take the reinforcement like this sometimes when you have many bars in the beam this may not be possible in a such a case you may continue this bar like this and the, you you may provide the u bar here so you you can provide the u bar like this so that also possible when there is a possibility of continuing the same same bar you may provide the uh, as as i in indicated previously okay. then when you have a fairly high level drop anyway you may not be able to continue the top end person bars then those situations you may have to have u bar like this in special cases like when you have a higher cantilever length you may have a distribution bar here tied to the beam sh shear reinforcements that's also would be better that will provide a certain restraint to the this cantilever bars so you can see here in this figure see that kind of a arrangement I have indicated t10 bar there to maintain the restraint so you have to do the reinforcement detailing as we shown here double net and main reinforcement and then both the this both distribution bars in both the layers that you have to be keep in mind in in here also you can see here do you have a lap there and you have provide the u bar you have to provide u bar so distribution bars and all those you have to provide you always should provide the top reinforcement at cantilevers but in some cases as you can see here in the figure the top reinforcement is not properly provided now you can see the spacing between top reinforcement is very high this may be an issue during the construction and after the construction also so you can see here no tone tension bar is provided for this cantilever portion there are this kind of issues will even could lead to failure of the structure therefore you have to keep in mind when you doing the detailing of cantilever reinforcement slab not only doing the detailing correctly but also we have to make sure the construction is done according to the issue drawings with that we end the today discussion we spoke about cantilever slab behavior reinforcement arrangement and mistakes we do at site so let's meet again from new video thank you very much for watching our videos